מועמדת מספר 18, טיטי. A year ago, Israel picked an African-born beauty queen for the first time. Titi Ainau came from Ethiopia to Israel when she was 12 years old. After her coronation, Anyao was chosen as the face of the popular Israeli fashion brand Golf. For stylist Maya Krenner, it's a sign that attitudes towards black beauty in Israel are changing. Israel is a lot more open, I've seen, than they used to be. I mean, the fact that there is a black Miss Israel is amazing, um, and the fact that there is a lot more black models and agencies are looking for black models because Israelis are more open to it. It's something very new here, not like in the States or around the world. It's something that's very fresh, new, and they want it here. They're hungry for it. When she arrived in Israel at the age of four, Tzipi Adis did not recognize herself in ads that always starred white girls. However, she was not discouraged and eventually realized her dream of becoming a successful model. She even launched her own agency. I revolutionized the world of fashion in Israel. In my agency, you will find all colors, origins, not like the other agencies where there are only blonde with blue eyes. A few years ago, no one wanted black models, and now demand for models that look like me is up. Look at Tino, she works a lot. And there is also this tall giraffe. She's really in demand. But none of these models were selected to be part of the fashion week in Tel Aviv. Blondes continue to be the norm on the catwalk. And except Titi and Taunia, the winner of the Israel version of Big Brother, black models rarely make first page of magazines. We don't prefer the white models. It's not something you could say about Time Out. We did have a refugee production a couple of months ago. But still, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we have to work on. At the end of the day, um, blonde and blue eyes sells and people think money. I don't necessarily agree with that, but they want to sell. To fight against these persisting stereotypes, Ioannis Azanav launched a campaign to promote the talents and models with darker skin tones. It is said in Israel that we are a melting pot, a mix of people from many origins. But when we watch TV, we only see white people. It is not at all representative of our society. My campaign is not just talking about Ethiopians, but also Indian, Yemeni, Egyptian. It's time that people of color are represented in the world of entertainment and in Israeli society. Black is beautiful. The message has still not been received in Israel, much like countries throughout Europe.